The following contest is the men's War Games match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War champions, including U.S. champ A.J. Styles. Introducing first, representing the O.C. from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States champion, the phenomenal A.J. Styles. You have to think that the undisputed universal champion is anticipating the entry of one man, Cody Rhodes. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years, but the champ better not overlook the rest of Team Raw, especially AJ Styles. For Team Raw, this fight is personal. Representing Blue with his eyes set on War Games supremacy, it's the WWE Universal Champion. Team SmackDown looks intense. You have to think he's looking to get his hands on one man, the world heavyweight champion, Cody Rhodes. Universal champ versus heavyweight champ. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years. And I'm right there with them. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue, Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield, but who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Captain and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. <laughs> Turn out the lights.
Here it comes. Neckbreaker. And in just a moment, the numbers advantage set to come into play here. Hooked up. DDT. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Force the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Looks like the impending numbers advantage isn't enough for him. And this might not have a pleasant ending. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. He came crashing down into a perilous position between the two rings. Nicely done, snap suplex so quick. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. He lands right in that dangerous trench area. We're seconds away from these teams being at even strength. Steel chair to the temple. Charging toward the ring and looking to even things up. Close line. What impact. Styles knows what this crowd came to see, and he is hell-bent on delivering. For a crash landing. Bang. Vicious boot. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Oh, man. One wicked attack after another. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Oh, goodness, that was bad. Sweep the legs. DDT. Styles looking for it. Coming. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Caught between the ropes, duking it out. Trying their opponent's arm. Carefully measured double stop. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage. It's about to be an up Take off. Way into 
the bedlam quickly. Your team needs you. Styles a step ahead. AJ on the receiving end. Backbreaker. What a lethal combination there. champion just prove everyone right i have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake we'll see about that michael unbelievable until then this is team raw and the american nightmares night to stand tall over wwe
Listen, I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped into this business with a heart full of passion. Trust me, I get it. But picture this. A match after hours at TBD when the arena is deserted and all eyes are off you. No obligations to live up to anyone's expectations, no titles to defend, just you and a ring. Pins only. Back to the core of wrestling. This championship run is epic! You must be so stressed. I'm stressed vicariously through you. You know what helps me relax? I like to go on vacation. In my mind. Here's what I'm thinking. Close your eyes, take yourself somewhere exotic, and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of. Which, for me, is wrestling. But against someone fun, like, what about Doink the Clown? Wanna see where your mind can take you?
what are you doing here? Slow down there, Tiger. Don't get hot. This isn't an invasion. Then what are you doing at my show? Do they not have gyms at Raw? I'm here with news. Because I wanted to tell you man to man and not have you read it on social media. To think I could have continued to live in blissful ignorance. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But after I beat you at Survivor Series, Miz and Regal are giving the WWE Universe what it wants. You and me, title versus title at the Royal Rumble. That's actually good news. Thanks. Honestly, you could have slid into my DMs to let me know. Miz asked me to come to SmackDown. He made an additional proposition. <laughs> let me guess. The WWE Universal Champion! and the World Heavyweight Champion in a tag team match for the first time ever! And it's gonna be awesome! He tell you already? <laughs> Guy learned at the feet of Teddy Long. So what do you say? We obviously both like gold. You ready to team up? You know what? Hell with it. I'm in. I knew you wouldn't resist the opportunity. Go team. The raid has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla at a combined weight of 552 pounds. Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. You can just feel the ferocity of this trio. Yeah, Eric and Ivar are vicious as it is. But when you add Valhalla, it's even worse. Her presence certainly alters things. It's almost like she awakens their bloodlust. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders, it was Monday. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back.
The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. before their champion versus champion clash at the Royal Rumble. We have both title holders attempting to work together in tag team action. Why does this feel like The Miz is still messing with the WWE Universal Champion after all this time? Don't be so obtuse, Saxton. This is just good box office. Miz just knows pizzazz when he sees it. And a series of vicious stomps. You want to control the tempo? You want to dictate the pace? That right there is how you do it. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Side Russian leg sweep. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Russian leg sweep. Placed into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Hits him with the counter. Nice counter. Turn that into 
a crushing backbreaker. This will be bad for him. Oh, dropped on the crown. He's absorbed some damage already. You can tell Cody was zeroed in on his opponent. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Brutal pooped. Both knees into the face. Here it comes. This dead lifting their opponent into a power slam. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Punishing stretch. Shooting pain in the shoulder is the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. Oh, one place knee right to the midsection. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oof, running knee in the corner. An overbearing amount of offense against Eric here. Every form of offense Eric attempts is being neutralized. Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Eric fires back. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Pedigree! Eric slowly rising to what may be his demise. Cody Rhodes has his opponent up, and he wants it! There's Crossroads! Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. He finds a counter for Rhodes. Undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? Well, like all good Vikings, Eric and Ivar went down swinging, but this result has the sting. Hey, partner. You ready to win some tag team gold? <laughs> partner? I'm your partner now? Wait, what have you been out of shape about now? We've won our match, and now we've got a title opportunity. Which sure is great. I guess I just didn't realize that our team was the dark horse and the show horse. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you spent our whole match out there hogging the spotlight instead of working as a team. I did what was necessary to win. If that's a problem for you? No, no problem. I just see you, Cody. I see you. What you need to see is that our next opponents are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they are not going down without a fight. Don't worry. I'm focused. My eyes are most definitely on the prize. Good. Then maybe the next time we see each other at an airport, we'll be carrying heavier bags.
It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Guys, shut up. I got this. It's fight night! Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. Yeah, after the brawling, Brutes competed in their first War Games match. I think the entire WWE Universe developed a new found respect for the Brutes. We are about to see the fight of a lifetime.
The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 459 pounds. Oh! Cody Rhodes and their opponents at a combined weight of 458 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Butch and Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes. Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. Going into a tag team title match, it's very rare that you feel like the champions are the underdogs, but I think that's the case tonight. You might be right. It is going to be hard to take down two world champions. No way. The Dark Horse and Cody Rhodes are going to be fighting at the Royal Rumble, and I bet they'll get into a fight tonight. You can't beat the real tag team chemistry of our SmackDown tag team champion. Ooh. Setting up. Suplex. Rolling into a monkey flip. And you don't often see the champion get thrown around that easily. Oh, kick right to the gut. Another and another one. one. Nice combo. Snap with authority. Yeah, Butch seemingly stopped in his tracks, guys. Cody looking to attack from above. Incoming! You gotta be kidding me! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. He beats the count, and this one continues. Ooh. Well placed, kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Oh, nice combo. And he sends him into the corner, and Butch fending him off. Oh, Kimura, the Kimura! Kimura lock cinched in, body wrap, this could be over. I'm not quite sure if this man he doesn't yeah. have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. What a move. Some hard offense landing on the champ. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. And Butch is failing to offer any resistance here. Butch has to wake up and get going in a hurry. Ooh, hard kick. kick. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. <laughs> Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. The champ put a lot of strain on their opponent's arm there. Going after the arm here. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Laying into the arm big time. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Stiff elbow will break that up. A rolling thunder. Rolling thunder stunner. Uh-oh, going for the ride! Jump slam! Oh, it's soon! 
We could be seeing a submission here. Can you imagine what it would do to him? There's the save. How close was that? for the arm bar and up. Just stretching out the arm. Huh. Oh, kick right to the gut. Another, and another one. one. Oh, nice combo. And overbearing amount of offense against Butch here. Butch has to wake up and get going in a hurry. Here's the pin top. champion and the world heavyweight champion are on a collision course for the royal rumble but now they are smackdown tag team champions together that's going to be a lot of hardware for them to carry around more importantly this is an alliance that could explode at any moment miz is a genius the WWE Universe definitely approves of the new tag champs. Why wouldn't they? It's not too often you see this kind of star power in the ring at the same time, let alone on the same team. Do it. Hit him. You know you want to. Who are you talking to, Corey? Both of them. I can't stand either one of these guys. These men are now the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they're on shaky ground at best. How are they going to coexist until the Royal Rumble? I hope they don't.